Okay, recording. I believe the sound is working. And uh, now putting on my gloves, getting a much later start than I wanted to, and um, trying to get everything going on. I'll give you the whole rundown once we get on the bike and get rolling, but it has been a trial. It has been a trial. Okay, one of the things, still don't, still don't like the way that uh, kickstand goes up. All right, I got to adjust that upward just a little. Hopefully there's some bike and all that kind of stuff there. Okay, face shield's going down part ways because it's a cool evening here in SoCal. And uh, now we will take off very gingerly <laughs> down our driveway. Ah, God. So, what has been going on? What's kept me from riding off here? Uh, <clears throat> well, technical incompetence <laughs> or technical issues. Um, I have the GoPro 10 and it obviously takes great photos. Oh gosh, I hope you can see that. I hope you can see the balloon. I'm, I'm just, oh, I'm standing my head up high. Hope you can see it. Live in a neighborhood where the balloons uh, go overhead in the afternoon. Uh, hope you can see that. And uh, they are landing just about now, which means that I'm late on this ride. So going back to the issues I've had, uh, GoPro 10 and the uh, firmware updates that they have issued. There is a later firmware update. And uh, when I connected the GoPro this time around, it said, there's an update available. Do you want to update? I said, yes. And uh, I couldn't get the phone to connect. I could get like half to three quarters of the way through the process. And uh, then what would happen is that uh, I couldn't make connection to complete it. And I usually blame the camera. Sorry, GoPro, but I usually do. And in this instance, it was uh, actually a combination of the camera. At the best of times, that whole process can be just a trifle glitchy. And then, um, but what happened is my uh, phone, my iPhone, did not... Uh, want to acknowledge that it was uh, receptive to Wi-Fi. It was only on the 5G network and um, it just wasn't listening to the fact that it could be on Wi-Fi. So, uh, in any case, took a long time, got it done, and we're on the road now. And I'm trying to get used to these uh, conditions, which we have a go. And, uh, there's the balloon. Oh gosh, I'm gonna just kind of creep along here. In fact, I'm going to pull over right here. And he's rising up now. Boy, I hope you can see that. He's rising up because he's got to clear some things. So I hope you saw that. <laughs> Give me a chance to set my mirrors anyway. So, um, I finally got it all connected, and we're, we're recording, and, uh, I think the microphone's working and everything else. Well, the gendarmerie are out after someone, and, uh, it's all happening. So I'm just going to roll along here because uh, the purpose of this ride, other than getting a uh, beautiful December afternoon into view for everybody, uh, it is middle late, uh, a little past middle of December, and uh, although cool and chilly, uh, about uh, 58 degrees, which is cool for yours truly, <laughs> especially on a motorcycle, it is just absolutely gorgeous weather just absolutely gorgeous 
and I'm hoping this recording works out because my purpose uh, for being on the bike right now is to get a subjective feeling for how much wind protection I'm getting from the standard windshield because I ordered uh, an enhanced windshield there's the truck that's set there to pick up the balloon when they land because I ordered the enhanced windshield and uh, I want to put that on the bike but just before I threw it on and didn't check it out or anything I'm fogging up so you know it's a cool day uh, I wanted to do a little back-to-back -back riding and to get a feel for that I needed to get out on the bike and with our holiday season and everything that we've got going on I've not been able to get out on the ride as much as I wanted to and we've had rain and some really cold weather which has whoa big manhole cover which has dampened my enthusiasm <laughs> I'll tell you that right now it has dampened my enthusiasm somewhat for riding I guess we're spoiled in Southern California I'm just gonna cruise along behind these cars here and uh, that uh, has been an issue too being a sissy or let's just say a softy and and why would you if you don't have to we have the weather but today was just too nice and uh, I had that mission in mind and uh, I also wanted to get this GoPro 10 into more action so the irony of all that by the way is that uh, I installed the update that should have allowed me to use the max lens mod which gives you a wider viewpoint uh, particularly as suited to motorcycles I believe and uh, when I put the max lens on that didn't work either so I had like wow wow we are right into the Sun I hope you can see how bad it is uh, I can barely see I do not have a sun visor on this helmet wow I can just not say I can't see the lights Woo. this will just just uh, this side is scary I am right into that setting Sun I'm almost on plane with it uh, so I can't use a max lens mod uh, anyway so we're gonna get on the highway here do you see me dude and uh, that's the best way to see what kind of wind protection you get and uh, we're gonna try it out and see how that works out to see just how it feels and I'm going out towards the coast because it's afternoon and we typically get an onshore wind so I just want to get a feeling as to how well and what kind of protection I get at some speeds the guy come along and I'm getting a fair amount of wind buffeting I'm uh, fairly quiet the wind is hitting me right about shoulder level and uh, it is it is moving me around now I'm wearing the Shui X14 helmet which is adapted for track riding so it's very aero stable but my shoulders uh, I feel popping around from this wind buffeting directly into the afternoon wind uh, so let's just call it uh, shoulders and up a fair amount of wind at highway speeds what am I doing 74 miles an hour so um, we now have that as a frame of reference for when I install that upgraded uh, windshield and there is that Sun again Wow we are right into it doing 75 and fifth gear this bike is just loafing at 75 We'll get her up to uh, 83 which is uh, by the way I have permission to go that fast on this road we're gonna get off here I'm gonna crouch down a little bit to an 88 and still hitting me just about shoulder just a little higher now 
but I do I certainly do feel that uh, I do feel that went at around at around the show yes they are aren't they just the kindest so that'll be easy to reproduce uh, if 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 unfortunately I can't do it on the same day uh, it will be it will be virtually the same so in the meantime I've uh, messed around with the camera setting to try and find an optimum here I'm in super wide view gotta lift the visor here for a sec folks I'm in super wide uh, super view and uh, shooting at 2.7 K and uh, 60 frames per second I guess you would say a virtual 60 frames per section second which works real well on the GoPros but uh, that max lens mod I think is just kind of the right uh, motorcycle vlogging combo Woo. and I'm wearing my uh, insulated gloves So my hands are my hands are actually fairly warm. I'll get a I'll get a true read on the uh, temperature when I get back to Whistle Vistas, but right now I gotta say, <sighs> there we go. <laughs> right now I gotta say that uh, <laughs> it is pretty chilly because my uh, visor fogs up almost as soon as I come to a stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty funny and I'm wearing the Cardo I have my Cardo pack tuck black on with this helmet this helmet now uh, I really feel bad because I have ruined Shuey's aerodynamics and uh, the beautiful looks of this helmet by hanging all kinds of appurtenances all kinds of blobs off the side of it which would include that pack tuck black uh, and the uh love that corvette don't you that corvette is just awesome and the uh and of course the gopro off the front end of it which is a which is a big thing stuck out in front of the camera so rolling in this direction uh, away from the coast and uh, flowing with the wind it is much more stable I can't go quite as fast as I can on the freeway coming back but I, I uh, don't want to do that with this Sun unfortunately and it's much more stable and I'm getting a lot more uh, uh, flow through the air Again, having said that, uh, I am going with the wind now as opposed to into it. That was nice. That was a nice movement there. They're on third gear. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't be shy now. Just roll along. Just roll along. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Give me a chance. <laughs> Come on, car. We got one right, run left. That person just had to hop out in front of the other car. And then I don't know why. There's a slowdown button. <laughs> and they have to slow down. And now my uh, now my visor is fogging up even while I'm on the move. So <laughs> it's just uh, one of those days. How do you you guys have to tell me? In, in love the quick shifter. Uh, you guys have to tell me in in cold climates. How do you do the? Uh, how do you keep the visor from getting fogged up and absolutely obscure? I don't have pin lock on this. Uh, why would you need it in San Diego? Uh, 
on another light. So, um, yeah. So that's the nature of this experiment. I've got a good feel now for the uh, wind blockage of the standard or OEM windshield. My, my opinion still prevails that it's uh, slightly better than the OEM was on the 2017. But you're still getting it right around the shoulder level, mid chest to shoulder level. Gosh, this bike is great. And, um, oh, there's the balloon. Do you see it? Do you see it? Fun, huh? And, um, you, um, still get some noticeable buffeting. So I will now go back to Wistful Vistas, install it, and uh, do a uh, similar check. The situation is, uh, hopefully, I could do that by tomorrow afternoon, but I'm not too sure about that. I have things weighing on my time. But, uh, we have done what we set out to do. Whoa! What is going on? Okay, some people just on the side of the road having a chit chat. <laughs> and, uh, that was to check the wind resistance, where the wind buffets at highway speeds. And we will ride back into the setting sun, head over here into beautiful San Diego and uh, a December afternoon here. Join Larry Lightning. Here's where we turn into our little neighborhood. United States Postal Service. The mail must get through. And it does typically here. I have my visor open now. I'm curious to see how the camera setup will work uh, as well. Uh, the view ahead and that sort of thing. Hopefully uh, I got it close to right and that you can see enough of the motorcycle to give you a sweeping, a sweep of and a feel of riding. That's something I've struggled with and that's why I wanted to put that uh, Max Lens mod in. coming up to my street so as we crawl behind this United States Postal Service truck I'm glad to have had you out you saw the balloon flight you got to ride along with me and uh, feel the wind buffeting on the OEM windshield we shall now proceed to put the aftermarket windshield on and we'll do a little comparison I promise to invite you along for that also Wow. And uh, I will, at this stage, as my driveway comes up, I will sign off. Hey, hope you're having as nice a day, as great a day as I am. Oh, 
Ho. Back home again in Indiana. Let's see if I can find neutral easily. <laughs> now we're at a stop. So much easier to do when you're got a little bit of roll on. There it is. <laughs> got it. Now be quiet. Hashtag be racer. Aprilia. Well, are you with kickstand? There you are. The bike goes over. Gary Cooper lifts that leg off the back as an old guy. <laughs> My <sighs> Dionysi safety jacket gives me a little haptic that says, hey, there's no, no motorcycle running. You don't need me anymore. I'll see you later. And then we just shut the film off. <laughs>